Barrelcraft Spirits sources different spirits and barrels from all over the world to create a one-of-a-kind tasting experience. Find out more at BarrelBourbon.com. Hey everyone, and welcome to this Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at St. Cloud Bourbon. Now this is, they, they do a few different releases. We've tried, I think it was an earlier one, I think it was like a three-year finished in French oak. It was good. And, but this one's a little bit different. So this time, uh, it's a subsequent release, but it is a seven-year Kentucky single barrel bourbon. And the particular barrel we have right here is uh, L-O, L-E-L-H-O. I have, I have a feeling this all kind of plays back into their uh, St. Cloud, Greek God, whatever it's sort of, by the way, you're, you're probably seeing this, the... Uh, we lost our we lost our god in shipping yeah, over Kenny here. Kenny kicked it on accident. Sorry. <laughs> it, it broke off in shipping, but uh, still, nonetheless, it's a great bottle. Look at that base; it's like an inch and a half thick of glass down there. But some more details around this: this is a seven-year Kentucky straight single barrel bourbon, 122.4 proof, and has an SRP of $150. All right. Well, let's dive in. All right. This is uncut and unfiltered as well, so barrel proof. Hmm. So it's, it's kinda, pretty good, but it's kind of got some earthy, like hay notes to it, some grassy kind of flower, fresh cut flower kind of thing. I was gonna say like a, like a honeydew or like a like a honeysuckle, like is kind of was what I was getting. I, I think more of like a honey note that I'm getting, but yep, or honey note, or honey note, maybe maybe even a plum a little bit. All right, into the taste. Got some like corn pudding, uh, sweet corn, a little bit of that, that grassy kind of flavors are coming out for me on the finish. A little bit. A little um, I think there's, there's a little bit of a rounded fruit character on the, on the front of the palate that I kind of get. Um, the finish isn't like, it's not like, doesn't blast you by any means. It doesn't taste like 122 proof. No, it's very simple. So not simple but very approachable for that high proof i would say so too so let's go ahead and let's rate it yep. so on the nose where you at i'm sideways sideways on that yep. all right i'm okay I'll, I'll i'll let you have that one on the taste i'm sideways all right i'll, I'll go thumbs up on it because i i kind of enjoy it i think uh i actually i'm gonna i'm gonna guess the the distillery this is coming from maybe i shouldn't say it but i think i should guess don't say it. okay i won't say all right and the finish Sideways for me. I'm I'll just, say it's sideways too. Yeah, the, uh, it was uh, the finish was the best, not the finish, but the very end. But there was just too much like a little grassy kind of hay notes for me. But it's a single barrel. It's so a single who barrel. Who knows? Yours yeah. might be different. Absolutely. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>